Universal Vocal Method, Lesson 1. This is lesson number one in a series of tapes designed to bring out your maximum potential as a vocalist. It is a universal method because regardless of which style of singing or type of music you're involved in, this method is guaranteed to improve your singing in the areas of power, range, stamina, and tone quality and make you the confident singer you want to be. This is a proven and professional method, beneficial to the beginner as well as the advanced vocalist. It really does work. Lesson number one consists of breath control exercises that strengthen the diaphragm and teach you to use your air correctly. The strengthening of the diaphragm also increases the range of the voice as it is the foundation of the breath and the breath is the support of the voice. Be sure you understand this. Lesson 1 also contains fundamental knowledge on vocal techniques and singing tips. Before we begin with the breath exercises, we must understand a few basic facts. It is up to you to become the best vocalist you can be. This method will work for you if you decide to work hard and be confident that you can improve and succeed. If you believe in yourself, you will progress faster. Always do your exercises and singing on an empty stomach two to three hours after eating. Also maintain good posture during exercises and singing. Drinking warm fluids like water or tea is very good in warming up and in actual performance. One more thing, good health. If you burn out your voice, you can't go by another one, so listen to your body. The breath is one of the main tools of good singing, and this means no smoking. Also avoid use of alcohol while singing and exercising, as this will result in lack of control. Get plenty of good nourishment and rest. All in all, if you're good to your body, your voice will be good to you. Now let's get going. Proper voice production depends on two things, breath support and voice placement. This lesson covers the breath. You're about to learn a series of six breath exercises. These should be done in succession and take about 10 or 15 minutes. These exercises are one of the most important aspects of this method. Make a list of each exercise, how to do them, and to what extent. Also take notes on the suggestions for each exercise. These are to be done once a day, every day, in order. Let me stress, every day. If an athlete stops exercising, he will get weak. You get the idea. Be sure to do them on an empty stomach and to take your breath in through the nose so you don't dry out the throat. Drink warm fluids also. Exercise number one strengthens the diaphragm, a tent-like muscle located at the midriff near the lower ribs. The diaphragm is the singer's muscle and must be in top shape. When you inhale, your shoulders should not go up, but your stomach and chest should go out. When you exhale, your stomach and chest should go back in. Exercise number one goes like this. A full breath in through the nose then fully out through the mouth and hold it. Listen as I demonstrate. You want to hold with all your air out for 20 to 40 seconds. Now stop the tape and you try it. You should feel that one. Make a note of how long you went so you can gauge your progress. Make sure that all your air is expelled for that one. You can hear me give one last push at the end of exhalation when I demonstrated. Breath exercise number two is similar but also works the abdomen. 
the area below the diaphragm. Exercise number two is as follows. A full breath in through the nose, then fully out through the mouth and hold it. This time, while holding, with air fully out, pull the stomach in and back out seven to nine times at a medium speed about like this. In, out, in, out, in, out, etc. You do not use your hands to do this. You use your stomach and abdominal muscles. Now stop the tape and try it. I'll bet you felt that one. It takes a little practice. Be sure not to pull too hard the first few times. It should not hurt. Exercise number three is an exercise for controlling the inhaling and expelling of air. Be sure the stomach goes out with inhaling and back in with exhaling. This should become automatic after some time. Number three is taking short breaths in and out through the nose. For example, four one would be four in and one out. I will demonstrate a sequence of four one, four two, four three. Be sure to do them all through the nose. If your sinuses are not clear, blow your nose before you start. The speed I did them should be comfortable for you, but is somewhat flexible. The entire sequence for this exercise is as follows. Write, write them down now on your list. Two one, three one, three two, four one, four two, four three, five one, five two, five three, five four, five five, and six five. Now stop the tape and try this exercise. This is a very good breath control exercise. The breaths should be relatively quick, but should use a full breath. Again, be aware of the stomach going in and out. Also be careful of dizziness. That brings us to the halfway point. Exercise number four is very simple but effective. This one puts pressure on the diaphragm, pushing it down and out. Simply take a full breath in through the nose, expanding the abdomen and stomach and inflating the lungs, and hold for at least one minute. Be sure to take as much air in as possible and beware of dizziness. People have been known to pass out on this one. You can go longer than one minute, but over two minutes is usually overkill. Now stop the tape and do exercise number four for at least one minute. After about three weeks of the daily breath exercises, you should progress up to a comfortable time or number on exercises one, two, four, and five. So work hard and stick with it. You may want to rest between some of the exercises after you've written them down and are running them in succession, but try to limit the rest to about a minute. You should get used to doing them all right in a row. Now exercise number five. This one has two parts to it. The basic difference between the two parts is the speed. Number five teaches you to retain the breath while using the voice. This one does require some effort. 
The first part of exercise number five goes like this. Take a full breath in through the nose as you do in number four, then proceed to count out loud fairly fast going as long as you can on one breath. When you start to run out of air, make sure you go as far as you can. This is the part that will pay off. I will now demonstrate the exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty, and so on. You will have to work your way up on this one, but try to go past one hundred. I myself find 150 to 180 comfortable on a daily basis, but yours will vary. Just be sure to do it about the same speed each time, go for as long as you can on one breath, and keep a record of your progress. Stop the tape and do the exercise. The second part of exercise 5 is very similar. It goes like this. A full breath in through the nose as before and proceed to recite the alphabet out loud at a medium tempo for as long as possible on one breath. This one has a different effect because it is slower than the first part. Do the alphabet at about this tempo. I'll demonstrate. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z and so on try to go through at least three alphabets as before keep track of how long you go and always try to do the exercise at about the same speed stop the tape and do the exercise as with the first part of number five your length of the second part will vary and should progress again you should reach a zone of effort but comfort in about three weeks or so just make sure your progression is to its maximum. By now, you should feel your diaphragm reacting to the exercises. This is good and means you are really trying hard. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now the final breath exercise, number six. This one stretches the diaphragm out and loosens it up a bit. It is basically a wind exercise but make sure the stomach goes in and out accordingly. Push with the diaphragm when you exhale. Number six is like this. A full breath in through the nose, then out through the mouth fully. Repeat this five or six times in a row. Try to keep your tongue down and lips open to allow ease of air flow. Also be sure to use full breaths. I'll demonstrate. That completes the six breath exercises. Don't underestimate the importance of these exercises. As I said, they are vital to this method of vocalizing. 
I guarantee you that in two to three weeks after starting these daily exercises, you will see considerable improvement in power, breath control, range, and stamina. Do them every day as long as you are a serious singer.